The Shinju are the latest villains introduced in the Boruto time skip. They are humanoid clones created from the Ten Tails, each possessing their own free will. Initially, the Ten Tails is a mindless beast that causes destruction and devours everything in its path, eventually consuming an Otsutsuki and transforming into a tree that bears a chakra fruit. The Shinju, while similar to the Ten Tails, have several key differences. Unlike the Ten Tails, they have gained intelligence, and each one operates independently with its own will, with the need to devour an Otsutsuki. In this video, we'll be discussing who the Shinju are, their abilities, and their unique individual wills. But before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more Naruto and Boruto content. Now let's get into it. Now back to the Boruto pre-time skip. Code aimed to capture either Boruto or Kawaki, both Otsutsuki, to feed them to the Ten Tails. However, since Boruto and Kawaki were in the Leaf Village, Code needed more manpower to launch an attack. Using his karma in combination with his Claw Mark Shinjutsu, Code created Claw Grimes from the Ten Tails. Like the Ten Tails, these Claw Grimes were also mindless creatures. In the heat of battle, they would devour their enemies, turning them into trees. Later, the Ten Tails evolved breaking free of Code's control thanks to his karma, and transformed into humanoid monsters, now known as the Shinju. Each of these Shinju was created using the chakra of the victims trapped in the trees. Every one of them has their own name and ego, giving them individuality. They all wear black outfits, influenced by Code's claw marks, which also grants them the ability to use claw mark teleportation. Additionally, they have inherited the abilities and jutsu of their prototype, but on a much larger scale. Now let's discuss how a victim transforms into a Shinju. When a victim is trapped in a tree, a thorn is created from their chakra or soul, known as the thorn soul bulb. This thorn soul bulb is placed on an altar, and a tree is attached to it, resulting in the creation of a shinju. The thorn soul bulb serves as the soul of the shinju. After a shinju is defeated, the thorn soul bulb reappears at the same location where the shinju fell. This bulb can then be used to save the victim trapped in the tree. This process applies to all shinju except for their leader, Jura. Jura, the leader of the shinju, is a unique case. Unlike the other shinju, he has no prototype because he is a direct incarnation of the Ten Tails, making him undoubtedly the strongest among them. In addition to their primary objective of devouring an Otsutsuki, the Shinju also seek to gather more information by consuming their targets. They locate their targets by following their instincts, which usually lead them to individuals that their prototype cherished, loved, or had some emotional connection with. Now that we've covered what the Shinju are and their goals, let's delve into each member, discussing their prototypes, abilities, and the individual targets they aim to devour. Currently, there are five members of the Shinju. First up, we have Mamushi. Mamushi is a Shinju created from a man named Bug, who was one of Boro's cult members and served as a guard for Ada and Demon, who were sealed in Boro's secret warehouse. After Code freed Demon and Ada, Bug became their servant, often bullied by Demon due to Ida's charm over him. Following a disagreement about killing Amato, Code, having had his limiters removed, got into a fight with Demon as per Ida's orders. Demon easily defeated Code, who later escaped with Bug to the dimension where the Ten Tails was sealed, where he proceeded to create the Claw Grimes from it. In the Boruto time skip, Bug was turned into a tree and became the first Shinju we encountered. While we don't know much about Mamushi's abilities, he can create weapons with his hands, which he used to attack Boruto. Mamushi's target appears to be Ada, as he has fallen for her charm. Next, we have the female Shinju, Matsuri. Matsuri is the Shinju counterpart of Moegi Katsuragi, a jonin from the Hidden Leaf, and Konohamaru's former teammate, as well as the sensei of Team 10, a new generation of the Inoshika Cho trio. During Code's attack on the Leaf, Moegi shielded a civilian from a claw grime, taking the hit and ultimately turning into a tree, which made her the prototype for Matsuri. Matsuri possesses the ability to use Moegi's Earth-style techniques without any hand signs, making her a formidable opponent. She demonstrated her strength by attacking the Sand Village and defeating both Gara and his adopted son, Shinki transforming Shinki into a tree in the process. Matsuri's target is Konohamaru, as they share a bond that goes back to their time together. Next, we have Hidari, the Shinju counterpart of Sasuke Uchiha. After deserting the Leaf Village alongside Boruto, who is now considered a criminal, they were confronted by Code and his Claw Grime army one year later. During the confrontation, after Sasuke took Code's eye, he decided to fight Code alone to allow Boruto to escape. Following the battle, Sasuke ended up turning into a tree, becoming the prototype for Hidari. Hidari possesses nearly all of Sasuke's skills and techniques, including Chidori and his swordsmanship. His target is Sarada, as she is Sasuke's daughter. After several failed attempts to devour Sarada, Hidari was ultimately defeated by Boruto and his teammates, leaving behind his thorn soul. However, he was eventually saved by Jura and later returned to life. Finally, we have the latest Shinju, Ryu. 
Ryu is the Shinju counterpart of Shinki, Gara's adopted son. During Matsuri's attack on the village, both Gara and Shinki were defeated, resulting in Shinki being transformed into the new Shinju, Ryu. As of now, we don't know much about Ryu's abilities, but it's likely that he will inherit Shinki's iron sand techniques. Regarding his target, it seems plausible that it could be either Gara or Baruto, given their connections. What do you think? Now we come to the last and undoubtedly the strongest of the Shinju, Jura. As mentioned earlier, Jura is a direct incarnation of the Ten Tails and does not require a prototype. He is special and highly intelligent, serving as the leader of the group. Jura possesses incredible abilities, including flight, wood release, and the ability to fire compressed tailed beast bombs which cause massive destruction. Initially, for unknown reasons, Jura targeted Naruto, seeking to devour him. However, after tracing the Nine Tails Chakra, he was led to Himawari, Naruto's daughter. Jura then changed his plan and decided to devour Himawari instead. In a brief battle with Himawari and the Nine Tails, Jura emerged victorious without even going all out. It was even foreseen in the future by Kashin Koji that Jura would be the one to kill Baruto. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the fascinating world of the Shinju and their unique abilities. Which Shinju do you find the most intriguing? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Naruto and Baruto. We have plenty more content coming your way, so stick around. Until next time, keep your ninja spirits high, and we'll see you in the next video.